In the report server, a data model provides a layer of abstraction between an actual database and the document. A data model accesses your data provider in read-only mode and enables you to select information from a specific database for different users. This video will show you how to manage data models in the DevExpress report server. First, create a data model. Switch to the data model section. Click Add Data Model. Make note that you may see a warning at the top of the screen, urging you to restrict access to the report server database and backups because data models created with the DevExpress report server won't be encrypted. Then give it a name and description. The report server supports a variety of data providers. For this video, I select Microsoft SQL Server, specify a server name, and choose a database. If you want to, you can enter the entire connection string into the additional parameters form without specifying the rest of the connection options. Note that the report server backend runs under the network service account. If a data model connects to the database server using Windows authentication, make sure that the network service account has permissions to access the database. To finish creating the model, click Add Data Model. You'll see a grid reflecting the structure of the data model that is now empty. Next, let's add tables and views. Click the Edit Tables Views button to open the data model schema. Check the box for each item to include it into a data model. You can also select which columns a table or view should contain. Click Update Data Model to save changes and check the result. Now let's add a stored procedure. Click Edit Procedures and then Add Procedures. In the menu, select a procedure and click the plus sign. A message is displayed telling you to execute the added procedures. Click Yes and add it to the data model. Then click Done. You can also create custom queries by joining multiple tables and performing various data shaping operations. Click the Edit Queries button. Then add query to open the query builder. To select a table or view, Drag it from the Available Tables and Views section and drop it onto the design surface. After selecting a table, you can specify its columns. In the same way, drag and drop a subordinate table to include in a query and automatically create an inner join relation based on a key column. If you click a data relation, the Selection Properties section displays its options. With these options, you can select the join type and apply a comparison operator. Clicking a specific column displays its options in the Column Properties section. To sort data against this column, specify the Sort Type property. You can also group a data table by this column, apply an aggregate function, and so on. To access the query properties, click the Design Surface. Use the Name property to provide an appropriate query name, Orders by Customers. You can preview the result of the query execution in a tabular form by clicking the Preview Results button. You can narrow the query result set by specifying filter criteria. Click the ellipsis button for the filter property to open the filter editor. Click the plus button to add a new filter condition. Select a data field, criteria operator, and enter an operand value. Click Save and Data Preview once again to see the changes. You can compare data fields if you want. Click the arrow for an operand value, select Property in the dropdown, and then choose a required field. To use a parameter in a filter condition, select Parameter in the dropdown list and create a new parameter. The parameter values are defined when a corresponding document is being scheduled, which is discussed in another video in this series. If you need to return specific data to different users, you can filter data using account-related functions. Select Function as a value supplier and construct an appropriate criterion. The Username function returns the name of the current report server user. The User Mail function, in turn, returns the user email. You can also use the IsMemberOf function that checks whether the current user belongs to a user group specified by the parameter. For instance, the following criteria takes an effect if there are user groups for each country in the Ship Country field. If a user is from the France group, the preview does not display orders shipped to other countries. 
This set of account-related functions enables you to restrict access to data for specific users. Certain users cannot customize or remove this filter unless they are granted access to customize the corresponding data model. To save the query and quit the query builder, click the Save button. On the Fill Queries screen, click Done and check the data model structure. It can now be used to supply data to any number of documents. And that's it for this video. To learn more, make sure to check out the documentation on our website or watch more videos from our playlist. You can also subscribe to our channel to get all of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.